Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a frosted light up aquarium background for really cheap. So the materials you're going to need, I will link them in the description, all this stuff you can just buy off Amazon, are some LED lights, like light strips, and you can get tons of different lengths of this, but I got a 6.5 foot a set from Amazon and I think it was something like eight dollars I don't know something really cheap and pretty much is something that will be a little bit longer than the length of your tank or the same length as your tank I'm going to be doing a 55 gallon with these so this will be the perfect length so that I can have some excess that I can just trim off because you can trim these elite strips really easily it also comes with the remote so you can change the colors of the lights you can see you can do pretty much any color background you want which will be great and they're pretty much all the same, uh, this whole thing, you've got a little USB plug, and you've got your roll of lights with some adhesive on the back. And I'll show you guys how to do this whole installation thing in a second. And the other thing you need is some window tint film. I'll, I'll link the, this specific one that I'm using, I think this was pretty cheap, like $10 or something like that, I don't know. And you're going to be wanting some that is just bigger than your tank so that you will have some excess. It's fine if you have some left over, but you don't definitely don't want to be smaller and that's all you need those two items and then you can do it of course you'll need some tools like a sharp blade and a measuring tape or a ruler something like that and a like a spray bottle but i'm pretty sure that's just about everything I started by using rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth to remove any oil or debris that settled on the glass. This isn't a required step, but I'd do it if you have the chance. I then rolled the tin film so that it covered the back of the glass, and I cut it while leaving still leaving extra hanging over the sides. If I would do this again, I would probably leave a little less because I wasted quite a bit doing this, but hey, this is my first time. I then removed the plastic and wet down the glass so I could get ready to allow the film to adhere. I then laid the film sticky side up on the back of the wet tank and then used this sort of adhesion to peel off the rest of the film. I then flipped the film so that the sticky side was facing down on the wet tank and then used a gift card to squeegee out all the air bubbles. This was harder than I thought it would be, but I took my time and it ended up working out. As I went along, I also used a sharp razor blade to trim off excess. Once I had the film attached and trimmed, I went along with some more rubbing alcohol and cleaned the surface that I wanted the LEDs to stick to. Then the tank was put in place. I then used the adhesive backing on the LED strips to attach them to the stand so that the lights were facing up the back of the tank. And that's it, it's just that easy. I mean, check that out, guys. That looks pretty good. I can use this remote because it controls these little wall lights I have. Same frequency, so I can just sort of make them whatever color I want. This one doesn't have actually red, but I would never want red. I like this sort of turquoise right here. It doesn't show up the same on camera, but I think that's a nice color. I can do a bunch of different, pretty much any color you want. I can uh, make it go through a bunch of different colors. Uh, the camera doesn't really like that, but... It just, it's great, and this thing probably all together, all in, cost me less than like 25 or 30 bucks, and I mean, if you're gonna buy like a current USA system, like they've got the, uh, like the lighter background system, it's gonna set you back way more, I don't know exactly how much, but it's gonna be quite a lot more than that, and I mean, it's just so simple, just these really cheap budget LEDs, just kind of on the back here, 
this frosted background that I installed, although I'm not the, I'm gonna put this on one color, although I'm not the best um, at installing it, certainly not a great looking uh, installation. I have, certainly have a lot of respect for those people who can do it really well, but um, it just works great. The way that the, the reason this works is because the frosted like background instead of clear, it like carries the light all the way up the background. So it gives you that nice look and I'm just really happy with it. I'm super excited to see how this tank comes along once we get the actual big light on it and we can scape it, all that stuff. So I hope you guys are excited too. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.